Hi there, this is Colin and welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to change text properties. So what I've done is I've set up a page here. It's basically a typical about page, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over and turn on CSS Hero by clicking on the icon. And we'll go through the little startup sequence there. Okay, so we're turned on. I've lost the admin bar up here, so that tells me that I've actually turned CSS Hero on. But I'm not ready to target anything to actually select any text yet. So let's go up to the targeting tool and click that once. And then you'll see the box changes. Now, when I hover over any of the text elements, you'll see that it indicates which text element it is or which CSS element it is. So I'm just going to go to various parts of this page and we're going to change some of the text properties. So let's go up to the about bit up here. So this is actually a page title. So if I go over here, you can see that it says page title. I'm going to click on that. OK, and then I'm going to click on the text label here. And as you can see, the text is currently black. OK, so first thing we can do is we can change the color. Now, there's three ways we can do that. We can directly put a, a color hex code in here or we can use the color picker by clicking on the color, like so. And then we can actually move this around and you'll see we get the color bar on here. But so we click anywhere in that large square there, we get the color bar. So if we just go for a blue here, I can find nice blue, there we go. And what we can also do in here is we can change the opacity of that blue. So if I bring that down, as you can see it fades and it gets more transparent as we do that. So actually if I bring it right down there, it gets to totally transparent. I'm going to bring that back up here. One of the other options we have here is the colors we have right now is, is transparent. So if I actually click that, it will go transparent, as you can see. I'm going to put that back up to here. It's something blue. There we go. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. So let's go around about that. There we go. OK, so I'm just going to click that back up there. And the next thing we've got is our font family. Right now, we can see that it's set for Open Sans. And what I can do is I can select from the fonts here. So for example, if we can go down, we can change something quite different. I'll keep scrolling. There we go. If we go to Anton, you can see that the font is quite different there. So I'm going to put it back up to Helvetica for now. There we go. Let's do that. So I'm just going to put that back up there. You can choose any of those fonts. They're all loaded up as automatically as you use them. As you can see, there are lots and lots of fonts. And a lot of these are, are well, most of them are Google fonts, but there are some standard fonts families up here. So I'm going to minimize that one. Okay, next one we've got is font size. So right now it's 30 pixels. Okay, we can slide this left or right and make this bigger. As you can see, it goes bigger. And I can go right up to that size and leave it there if I want to. But I'll put it back to 30 or around about 30 for now. Okay, we can also change this value directly in the box there. The one below font size is font weight. So this is essentially the weight of the font, whether it be normal, light, or bold. It's set for 500 because that's what the Open Sans font was set up before. And so what we can do is we go normal. It won't, it won't change anything because 500 is normal. But if I click on bold, you can see that it gets bold. And if I click on lighter, you'll see that it gets lighter. So I'm just going to put it back to normal. OK. And we'll go to the next one. So the font style, it, it's a normal font right now. But I, if I want to put it into italics, I can just do that. And as you can see, there's the italics. OK. I can put it back to normal again. And then the text decoration, we have some options here. So the first one here is, uh, well, the first one is normal. The next one is underline. As you can see, there's a small line underneath there. So if we click on that, we go underline. The next one is strike through. So you get that effect if you want to strike through the text. And this one is an above line. As you can see there, there's the line above. I'm just going to put that one back to normal for now. Now this one's a pretty useful one. So the text transform, we've got no text transform on there right now. But if I want to go to uppercase, I can click on up and that will do uppercase. OK, if I do this one, it will just capitalize the first letter of each word. OK, and this one will make everything lowercase. So if you want to, if you've got lowercase text in there and you just want to make them capitalize the first word, we can click on that. And that would actually be better to demonstrate on something like this one down here. But I'll do that in a second once we run through all the options here. So I'm going to put that back to no text transform. The next one is the text align. It's left aligned right now. This would be a center align. As you can see, it goes right across the center. This one is a right align. OK, and this one is left align again. So we're going to put it back to left align there. Now the line height, I'm going to show you this on a bit of text over here. So I'm just going to skip that one for a minute. But basically, it's the height between 
the, each line, okay? And you won't be able to see it on, on this one here, but when I get down to some paragraph text, you'll be able to see it. So we'll do that in a second. The text indent, this one actually allows you to indent it. As you can see, if I move that over, it moves it in from the side of the page or indents it. Okay, I'm gonna put that back to normal. And then word spacing, once again, um, I can space out the words. You can see it between the two words there it will actually space out those words. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit further. The next one is letter spacing. So instead of word spacing, the characters, I can put spaces between the characters and, and span those out. These are all CSS properties, which you can see CSS is very, very powerful. The next one we've got is text shadow. Now, it, we've got these uh, presets here. You can choose any of these. Okay, there's quite a lot of them there. If I just choose, uh, for example, 3D, you'll see that we've got some blurred text behind there, white on gray. You can see long shadow, straight down like that. But if I click on none, okay, I'm just gonna minimize that box. I can actually use my own text shadow here or create my own text shadow. So uh, right now the color is set to uh, just a, a off white, but if I make that a bit darker, you'll be able to see the shadow a little bit more so I've done that now the x-axis is going to move it left and right as you can see there and the y-axis is going to move it up and down there we've got a little bit of shadow now if I go to blur we can actually blur that out a little bit now you can see we've got a drop shadow that's blurred out probably a little bit too much the other thing you can do is you can make this a little bit lighter or darker and it'll make your shadow look darker and lighter so if I got to the top here it would look much lighter and then as you can see the grayer we get or the darker we get, the, the darker the shadow. So I'm just going to go up to there and click on that. Okay, next one we've got is text overflow. This one's a hard one to explain without actually showing you some text, but basically what will happen is you've got clip normal, so that what it will do is it'll just clip the text. You can add an ellipsis or a bracket. So these options, you won't be able to see this until you see overflow text, but I'll do, cover this in a more advanced lesson. But uh, I'm gonna put this one back to normal. And then last but not least is the white space. Now the white space is also a little bit hard to explain without actually putting it into a context where it, I can show you an example and I can't really show you an example on this page. So I'll come back to that in another lesson. Maybe we'll look at doing an advanced text editing session. Okay, so that's all the options there. Okay, I'm gonna click on cancel for now. So that goes back to normal. I'm gonna go and select another bit of text here. Now, if we select one of the options over in the sidebar, we can, we can change all of the titles. So if I click on recent post there, for example, this is actually a sidebar text widget H4. So if I click on that, go into text again, okay. Now we can change the color, so let's just make that red. All the titles are now red, okay. So I'm just gonna minimize that by clicking back on the color. I can change the font size a little bit, we'll do that. Okay, and this one will make them metallic there, so they stand out a little bit more. So that was easy, as you can see. Now, if I go to this one here, for example, and this one's page content, it tells me it's an H3 tag. Click on text. Okay, we can change the color. You can also use this color tool here, which will bring in this dropper tool, and you can choose a color from this palette. I'm gonna choose green, okay. And what we'll also do, you notice that I have the red option there from when I uh, chose that before. Okay, so that will be there. The green one will be there next time we go, but I'm gonna minimize that, okay. But what we're gonna do is that text decoration, or sorry, text transform, I'm gonna capitalize all the first letters of each word there. So that matches the title above, okay. And if we go down a little bit further, we can change the letter spacing a little bit, spread them out, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna note no text spacing, and I'm just gonna click on save. So that covers our text elements. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button or share this with a friend if you think it was useful. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye now.